everyone welcome back to our channel i am in the middle of packing my clothes as you have already read from the title we are going on a vacation to the black forest in germany but this trip it's just going to be for tom and i uh, we are leaving sela for some few days with her grandparents and their greatest choice to be with Sela all the time so they were pretty pumped about the idea of spending some days with Sela so it will be like a little fun vacation for them as well so we will be gone for five days and it's in a place it's a very mountainous region in the southwest of Germany uh, close to the borders with France and Switzerland and I have heard so many good things about it like it's one of the most uh, beautiful and favorite destinations uh, in Germany and apparently the Black Forest cake um, was named after the region the Black Forest and it was originated from there by a, a German chef so I am very enthusiastic to taste the cake as well. <laughs> I was ironing some clothes, I still have some left. But anyway, I just wanted to share, we opted for a coach company. We think coach travel is so easy because they plan all our itineraries. So this time for Tom and I, the stress of navigating new places will be um absent from the scene <laughs> you know what i mean yeah because they will um like basically take care of everything like our accommodation our food our tickets our travel plans and program everything so um we always wanted a holiday that's stress-free and travel hassle free which is so important uh so um Tom, i hope that we will have a nice quality time and make good memories to be cherished for a lifetime hello from the black forest we just reached our hotel tom is showering and this is our hotel room it's cozy it's nice we have a little balcony over there and we have a very beautiful scenery outside which we can enjoy and the day was good we stopped by a city uh, called three and apparently it's a city where who is that yeah julius caesar he conquered that place and then he built the city and karl marx was also born there so it's his birthplace and he is known as the son of the city we saw a statue and some nice churches cathedral like that was built in fourth century it's known for its historical places yeah it's next to the border like it's very close by luxembourg and now we are here and that's the black forest portrait hanging right on top of our bed <laughs> On the way to our All Saints waterfall and it's written Allerhelligen that's so much like Dutch All Saints waterfalls drops over at the 3 meters that's very impressive oh, it's never ending the waterfalls those are smaller waterfalls with less current and look at the people they are all taking pictures of this beautiful fall we are following all these series of stairs from down there and we're just going up the hill to see the waterfalls it feels peaceful to follow the stream and just enjoy the view we have curly roads and stairs to climb but the path is comfortable to walk and walking here is pure pleasure because the setting is insanely picturesque we are going back down and the larger waterfalls are closer to the bottom where we started but we have also encountered all sorts of smaller rapids along the way hey everyone we are in mammal sea sea is lake in german and mammal is the name of a water lily that floats 
on the surface of the water and say is a lake so it's mama lake legends say that this is the land of Anix and the water king Anix it's um, a shape shifting creature in German mythology that takes its form to different animals here is the king the mermaid king statue which is standing here and looking down and they say this is the home of the mermaids according to the legend mermaids lived underneath the surface of the lake and also on the shore but they have to uh, be back to the lake by the midnight a farmer fell in love with one of the mermaids and he set the clock uh, back and are making the mermaid arrive late to the lake after that she was found dead and for many other creatures and mermaids uh, it was a curse that they can never uh, come up and they were stuck uh, in the lake and people say or people believe that many um like by midnight we shouldn't go there or get too close to the lake because they will lure you in i don't know whether that's true or not but we also in nakalan we also have so many stories like that like folklore or legend stories <laughs> so it's kind of exciting i'm taking a walk alone here this is a nice walk wooden walkway and um it feels like this walk will lead me to the realm of fairy tale and look this is the depiction of that story that i just said uh, i just read it's by 11 o'clock exactly not midnight and um here's the clock <laughs> that the farmer said back an r and she's spinning it symbolizes your eternal love you, you can buy a lock and then lock your love eternally supposedly yeah this is a pet lock to make a pledge of the love, love between yeah eternal love but between then if lovers one, one dies the husband or the wife and they marry again someone else is the love eternal or not that's the question for our viewers today having ice creams and watching the view here so beautiful. Hey guys, we just came from the Mamose and we are in Sasbach Wando, which is so beautiful. Oh my, I'm like screaming inside. I cannot screaming out, but of course I'm screaming and there's a cool motorbike. <laughs> Yeah, it won a lot of awards for its beautiful flower displays and is known as one of Germany's most beautiful um, villages. Like many voted for that, it seems. This village is also known as Wine Village. And look at the vineyards over there, it's all crepes. Yeah, you can buy wine in a machine. Oh yeah, we can buy wine in the machine and it seemed like this is a village where the sun shines very nicely and it's warm. They have local um, food, I mean local wine and uh, very scenic and very beautiful hiking trails. And when you hike, you will pass many local shops and local products, but we are not hiking and look at those houses isn't it beautiful this is a very pretty village known for its half-tempered houses and very vibrant flower displays this is the famous black forest and according to the gypsy beliefs the colors of the cake were associated with the traditional costume of the people in the black forest and look and here is Mr. Handsome Tom. <laughs> <laughs> we are in another city and it feels like all those toys or dolls or Barbie dolls would live in this area. I feel like that. I don't know how people will think of this place, but for me, yeah, very medieval. Yeah, that's right. And um, 
here behind us is the town hall. It looks so royal. The tower over there and cafes. You can tell me what you were telling me about the tower. Uh, just it's a tower. It's, uh, it used to be the edge of the city, so they can protect the city and they can put some archers in there, right? Some soldiers, whatever, and uh, some knights maybe. And then the gates will be closed or opened. Uh, and it's from the Habsburg family. They used to rule here. That's the abbey. We were gonna go inside, but it's closed, so we wouldn't go. And this is the view from the tower, up from the tower. That's just the city center, I think, yeah. And beautiful flowers. We can't go very up the limit oh, actually we unless you the find a secret <laughs> door it's like in video games right and then you have to pay a hundred coins and then you can enter this <laughs> you have to bash it and yeah. you can enter and go up something like that this yeah. is only for level 100 i'm only at level 80. my wife just saw that there is a tower the city edge and there is another tower <laughs> Sorry. Another city. Yeah. So we're going to explore it right now. Come and join us. <laughs> By the way, there's still a gate in the tower. There's still a gate yeah, in the tower, which is really is, cool yeah. from the Middle Ages. But is it real gate or it's just decorated well, wood let's, or let's something? Take a look. Let's take a look. Okay, so this is the gate I was talking about. And there's something written. But we can't see it from here. This is a very expensive dress. 110 euro for this? No, I'm never buying it. We are just discovering and walking through the small alley areas and it feels nice to walk here. It's so nice. Oh, it feels like some character from the fairy tale would come up right from one of these houses. And there is also a well over here. So maybe the princess and the frog and we go further down. The grapes. Wow, it's nice. We were walking and we just found something very interesting. Copperstein, uh -huh. something like that. And it's uh, they put these kind of goldish stones mm -hmm. in the ground mm -hmm. for the I think the Jewish people specifically. Yeah. That were killed in uh, Auschwitz or such Nazi places. And uh, here's a family, Valver. They is probably from this this place, I suppose. Oh. They were killed in the concentration camp. Okay. And so this guy was killed. This one. This one. So oh. it's it's two men and one woman. So they lived here. They lived here, and they were they were killed. Literally just killed in Auschwitz. Okay. So they don't, they, they tell it honestly, that's nice. Yeah. We are at a bus stop near our hotel. Our hotel is over there. And in the bus stop there is like a small Library. book nook Library. corner. Yeah. And they have books. I think these books we can take it for free. No, it's the land. Oh it's the land, okay. Yeah. It's here though, written in German. This is the entrance to the hall of our hotel room on the second floor and they have this old school sewing machine as a special decor piece that's so interesting my mother still uses this hand sewing machine to this day we will end the vlog here today the first day in the black forest was so fun and magical thank you for following with us see you all in our next vlog Bye!